Welcome back to the five minute reset, where we step away from distractions and the cares of life back into the awareness of the presence of God within us. Together, we're going to encounter the Prince of Peace, and hopefully you'll want to stay quiet with him even after these five minutes are over. Today, I'm going to share an encounter. It's part three of Step Into the Light, a vision the Lord gave me for us, the bride, at the beginning of 2023. So as I share, put yourself as me, because it was for us. Allow the Holy Spirit to draw you into this encounter and make it real for you, because it is supposed to be as transformative for you as it was for me. I hope this blesses you. Let's start by taking just a few slow, deep breaths at a rhythm that feels good to you and setting all of our awareness back onto the Lord. Holy Spirit, protect our imaginations and guide our time together. After the washing of living water and the anointing of oil, I was very aware of the Holy Spirit in me. I had not only been immersed in this white light, but it was also in me filling me and radiating out. That is what has happened with you. As you have chosen to live your life and to step into that white glory light, it has filled you. It is permeating every cell, every organ, every thought with peace, with clarity, with holiness, with love. I look down at my clothing to say I was dressed as a bride is inadequate. In a way that I cannot explain, I saw that I was clothed with Christ. He had become the glory around me and in me. We were one, totally and absolutely merged in perfect union. I laughed and cried and thought I had actually stepped into heaven. I looked at the others in the room, and they were just as beautiful and magnificent as I was. Because we, you and I, we had chosen to step into the unknown of absolute surrender, letting our longing lead us into this place. We have chosen to be his, no matter what. Then colors appeared in the room blue, green, pink, yellow, and many other colors wafted from the people. Each person radiated with both white and color. It was exquisite to see and it left us in awe. I invite you look right now with the eyes of your heart. See yourself standing in that white light. See yourself wrapped in that glory and see his glory light mixed with a color or maybe more than one coming from you. What colors do you see? Instantly, I knew that the colors represent our personalities. We had been washed, stripped, and consumed with glory, but it didn't remove our personalities. It purified and enhanced them. There was so much joy in the room and I could feel the Father's delight in us, his most desired creation. That's you. You are his most desired creation. No matter how you feel, no matter what you've done, no matter how distracted or overwhelmed you get, you are what he desires more than anything else. Each person had come into the fullness we were created for because we had finally surrendered to love. Now the word, the presence of God, the gifts and anointings we carry and our unique, beautiful personalities were ebbing and flowing together in harmony. God has created you 
to not only be a reflection of his glory, of who he is in this earth, but he gave you a unique personality that he has no desire to squash. But he is purifying us now as the bride so that we can take our personalities and express ourselves without any shame, without any embarrassment, to walk in harmony with him, that white light of his glory and the colors of our personality. And with the bride around us, they are flowing from us now into this earth in harmony, creating a beautiful masterpiece together in this world. I hope that you will stay here even longer and soak with the presence of God, soak in his love and see yourself loved and cherished and accepted that you are his beautiful, brilliant masterpiece. And he wants to partner with you to release heaven on this earth and in your life. I hope this has been a blessing to you.